Earlier in our show, we brought you the story of Maui native Abraham Reinhardt. He played college football in Utah, but unexpectedly died from a rare condition called hyponatremia, a condition of severely low sodium levels. We still have a lot of questions about it, so we brought in our medical expert, Dr. James Ireland. He's standing by with Dash. Hey, Bridget, thank you very much. Uh, it is a very rare thing that somebody dies from hyponatremia. And first of all, for somebody who may have missed our story, uh, basically, it's drinking too much water. Explain more in medical terms what it means and what it is. Well, hyponatremia is basically a low salt level or low sodium level. And our sodium is very tightly regulated in the body. But when you drink water, and especially in excess, that level can drop. And when it drops too quickly, um, it can result in serious medical complications and very rarely death. Now, associated with exercise um, can happen in maybe 10% of marathon or triathlete runners, but it's uh, mild. And to, to get the severe manifestations like nausea and vomiting, mm -hmm. seizures, and even passing away is actually quite rare. You know, you, you mentioned uh, endurance athletes. He was a football player, and that could be endurance when you're practicing for two, three hours if it's hot outside. Uh, you know, we're all told, of course, back in the day, they withheld water. Now everybody drink water, drink water, drink water, but there is a limit. There is, and I think the message is, is drink when you're thirsty. Right. If you're thirsty, drink, avoid dehydration, but don't overdrink. Mm -hmm. Don't ex drink in excess to prevent dehydration if you're not thirsty. And I think just following those simple tips will prevent um, a lot of this, um, these complications. Let's talk a little bit about sports drinks. So whether it be Gatorade or Powerade, there's so many drinks on the market now that have electrolytes in them. It's not just a marketing scheme. These are drinks that do perform, that give you what you need. And when we're talking electrolytes, we're primarily talking about potassium and sodium, salt. Correct. And it is possible, too, to overdrink sports drinks, so you have to be careful with mm -hmm. that. But they do offer glucose, which is needed for energy. They offer potassium and to, can prevent cramps in uh, you know, profound exercise. And they do give a little bit of sodium as well. So they can help, but again, overdrinking either sports drinks or water um, can be harmful. So again, if you just fall back on drink when you're thirsty, um, that will largely prevent this. And so the warning signs, what should people look for, whether it is themselves or you see a teammate or a fellow triathlete or marathoner, what are those first signs that you say to yourself, hey, something could be uh, not right here? Well, just generally not feeling well, but also anytime you have nausea and vomiting, and especially if you have a headache, those are pretty serious um, warning signs, especially the headache. Uh, seizures, of course, would be you know, profound, um, severe uh, clinical manifestation of low sodium and coma. And obviously by that time, uh, you know, EMS or other first responders would be involved and, and medical care would be, be sought. So if you have one primary tip, uh, you already said it, but drink when you're thirsty, don't overdo it. That's it. Pretty simple. Yep. All right. Dr. Ireland, thank you always. Thank you. Appreciate the information. All yep. right. Bridget, back to you guys.